Good morning, my friends. Hi, buddies. How are you doing? Hey, I hope you're doing well. How are you? Welcome to Alexa's room. We had a little trouble waking up this morning, I gotta be honest. So Alexa's still getting ready. She'll be here in a little bit. She's, I think she's brushing her teeth. Is that what you're doing? Are you brushing your teeth, Alexa? Well, I don't think she can hear us. All right, we'll let her get caught up. Hi, everyone, good morning. Well, while we're waiting on Alexa, how about we go over some reminders, right? Because we've got a few people joining us in the chat, so we wanna be very kind to our buddies on the chat. We also don't want to share any private information and we want to use nice emojis and don't use your all caps because that looks like you're yelling at people, huh? So let's, let's be cyber smart that way and do it like that. What do you think? Yeah? Let me go check on Alexa real quick and see if she's ready to go. Hmm, she's not quite ready. Why don't we start off with a song in the meantime? Does that sound good? Let's do that. Do you guys know the song, The Green Grass Grows? Have you ever heard of that one? We're gonna do some hand gestures to go along with this. So let's start by putting a big hole in the ground like this. There you go. And you can sing after me, you ready? There was a hole in the middle of the ground, the prettiest hole that you ever did see. And then you don't have to sing after me on this part. We're going to just go like this. And the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around inside that hole. There was a tree, the prettiest tree that you ever did see. With the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. And on that tree, there was a limb. A branch, let's call this a branch. Branch and a limb, which one's bigger? Branch, it's a limb. A limb, the prettiest limb that you ever did see. With the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around and on that limb, one of your fingers is gonna be the branch. There was a branch, the prettiest branch that you ever did see. With the branch on the limb and the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around, the green grass grows all around. And guess what's on that branch? And on that branch, there was a nest, make a little nest, the prettiest nest that you ever did see. With the nest on the branch and the branch on the limb and the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Ooh, I see one of my friends is saying it in Espanol. El árbol, that's a tree, very good. And we have some greetings from Russia. Hello, how are you? Privet, is that how you say it? I'm trying to remember my, my Russian now. I can't remember. So we're talking about this tree and there's a little nest on the branch and the branch on the limb, the limb on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, the green grass grows all around. Inside the nest, there was an egg, the prettiest egg that you ever did see. With the egg in the nest, and the nest on the branch, and the branch on the limb, and the limb on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around, all around, the green grass grows all around. Inside the egg, once it hatched, there was a bird, the prettiest bird that you ever did see. With the bird and the egg and the egg and the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the limb and the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. And we can even keep going and put a wing on that bird. But let me go check on Alexa because I think she, I think I heard her. I think she's ready. And I think she might have woken up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Do you guys know that expression, the wrong side of the bed? Have you heard that before? It's like when you're kind of grumpy, maybe you didn't sleep very well. Let's see how she's doing, okay? Let's see if we can cheer her up too. All right. Do you need some help, kiddo? You got some buddies here already. That's nice. Yeah. There we go. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I, I'm sorry I was late. I, I'm kind of sleepy today. You're sleepy? I, I didn't sleep that good. 
You didn't sleep very well. I'm sorry. Well, and I'm kind of sad today, too. You're sad? What are you sad about? Well, I, it's a, another play date, and I'm happy about that, but I want a real play date now. Hmm. Are you getting kind of tired of our quarantine time? Yeah, I think we're all kind of feeling that way, aren't we, buddies? How many of you guys are feeling kind of tired and wanting to go out and play with our friends for real? We miss our friends, don't we? I know, I miss my friends too. But you know what, it's okay to be sad. Really? Yeah, oh, it's okay to be sad. I feel sad too sometimes. Yeah, I think we're all feeling, look at that, see? Yeah, you guys are feeling like that too? Yep. Oh, good morning. Hi. Oh, you too? Oh, well, that's kind of good, I guess, because I'm not the only one. That's right. But my friends are sad too, and I don't like that. Oh, well, let's see what we can think about what we want to do so we can maybe cheer up our friends. That's one thing that'll help us feel better too, is if we do nice things for other people, huh? But I'm, I'm kind of not just sad. What do you mean? I'm a little bit like mad too. Ooh, so are you feeling, are you feeling kind of frustrated? Yeah. Oh, that does happen, I know. It's a really tough situation and you know what? It's more tough because none of us have been through it. So even some of us grown-ups are like, what do we do next? How do we handle this, right? We're trying to do our best. And it's really tricky to do sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm glad I, you can feel a little bit happier while coming over for a play date. That's kind of nice. It is kind of nice. That's really good. You know what? You can also make a list of things that you're looking forward to do once we're back out of quarantine. Yeah? Yeah. Like a list of all the things I miss? Definitely. I've got some paper right here. You want to do that? Well, yeah, but then I'll just feel more sad. Hmm. Well, then why don't we think about ways that we can make other people cheer up and we can help our buddies feel better? Hmm. Okay, like, um, like draw a picture? Yeah, you can draw your buddies some pictures. Or, or make them like a video? Yeah, you can make a video where you say hi to your friends and send it over to them, right? Maybe make a little silly video or a music video. Or like a stop motion movie. You can do that as well. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ideas. There's stuff that you can still do, but if we focus only on the sad stuff and everything that we miss, we're going to feel worse, aren't we? I, I kind of want to stay sad and mad for a little while. You do? You know what helps me? Do you like... Well, I think I know the answer to this one, but a nap always helps. I, I just woke up. I don't, I don't want to take a nap. Okay, you don't want to take a nap. That's okay. Hello, friends. Hello, Miss Clara. Good morning. We're trying to cheer up Alexa because she's feeling kind of bummed out about the whole situation here. Well, I'm not all of the way. I just, I just wish my friends could come all there for real. I know. We all kind of feel that way. But you know what? I got a project for us today. It should cheer us up. You do? Yeah, I made it this morning before you got up. Oh, I, I took a little longer to get up today. You did, I know. So it gave me a little time to play around a little bit. You want to see it? Okay, here, why don't you sit right there? Right over here. There we go. Sit right there. I'll show it to you. Let me grab it. There you go. Are we all feeling like that? Oh, hello. Good morning, Miss Abby. Good morning. Hello, my friends. Alexa, your buddies say they miss you. Oh, Joan, I miss them too. I will, I will. Did you guys hear her? Yeah. So check this out, because I was thinking about some of the stuff that I miss too, and going outside, and what since we can't, but summer's coming, so that should be kind of fun, right? Should, the weather will be nicer. But I was also thinking about some other ways that we have fun, and one thing that I like to do is ice skate. You guys ice skate ever? And I made this little box. I found this box here. And so I drew this little ice skater ballerina girl. And then I put one of these clips on it. It's like a binder clip. And I grabbed a, ma a magnet. Now my magnet is on... Ooh, I just dropped one of my magnets. This magnet is on a wand. It's one of the school kind that I have. 
But if you have just a magnet from like a refrigerator, those will work fine too. And I, I just dropped here. Alexa, can you hand me that one? Here, pass. Thank you. All right. So we've also got just a regular old magnet. And you can make your skate around. Oh boy, this one fell down. Let's try the wand. Stand up, lady. There she goes. And then I thought, well, some of our buddies maybe don't have binder clips, right? And you might, uh, might want to try and make these at home. So I thought we could do a little kind of a science experiment. I found some paper clips. So you might have a paper clip like this at home that you could use. Or you could use bobby pins. Do you know what a bobby pin is? Your mom might have some of these. Or maybe even you use them, right? And those are all metal. So as long as it's got some iron in it, it should be okay to work with our magnet. And even if you don't, and the only thing you can find is a safety pin, don't pop it open or anything, you don't need to, but you can tape this on as well, okay? So what I did was I made a couple more buddies and we're gonna test them out. This little guy has a paper clip on it. And this little lady has some bobby pins. So why don't we see which one works best? What do you guys think? All right, what do you think? What's your hypothesis? Which one do you think is going to work best? paper clip, the binder clip, or the bobby pin. Now I didn't put a safety pin on any of my buddies, but I could try that out as well. I was just saving that as a last resort. Any guesses? Any hypotheses? What do you think? Paper clip, binder clip, or bobby pin? Well, we just saw the, the binder clip, didn't we? We just made her dance around on that binder clip. Let's do it one more time. Just like that. Now, if you find a bigger box, what you could do is even decorate it and make it look like a skating rink. That'd be kind of cool. You could make a whole little hockey team to skate around there, right? You think the bobby pin's going to be the best? You think the paper clip is going to be the best? Let's find out. All right, let's test out that paper clip guy. Here he goes. Stand up, buddy. There it is. Oh, that works pretty well. There he is. I think this one spins better than the other one. What do you guys think? There he goes. All right. I wish we could give him a bigger rink. I'll have to look for a bigger box, huh? And next, we're going to try the bobby pins on this tiny little one. Now, I'm going to try one bobby pin. I do have a couple of them because this looks kind of thin there, right? Yes, and we're using a magnet, an Mm-hmm. She's not standing up quite right. Let's try that again. There we go. Oop, and now she flopped over. Let me try that other bobby pin on this one because there's not as much to grab onto there. So, And I'm putting the flat side of the bobby pin because bobby pins have that bumpy side. I'm going to put that flat side on the bottom there. Just like that. Oh, that. now she's standing. Oh, nope, man, now she fell. Try that again. There we go. Oh, yep, I think it's going to take a couple bobby pins to keep her standing up. But she's spinning pretty well. I think they all worked out, buddies, which is kind of good news because then you can use whatever you have at home to make your own. And all I did was I drew it on a piece of paper. And then just to make it fun when she turned, I, I drew the back just like that. And then I folded it in half, that little bottom piece. I left a little part so I could fold it. And then she could stand like that. Now you could use the binder clip on any of these, but here's the thing with the binder clip, is it kind of takes over a part of your picture. And it'll kind of block it a little bit. So if you're okay with that, that'll work too. Okay. And if you use the binder clip, you don't need to fold anything. It'll just sit in there. Okay. Let's try that one out. You wanna try it, Alexa? There she goes. Yeah, well the paper clip does a little bit more spinnies then the bobby pin or the binder clip. Oh, and now I'm picking up all kinds of stuff with it. Goodness gracious, this magnet's working pretty, pretty well, pretty strong. One last spin for this dude. There he goes. And one more twirl for this little one. Ta-da! 
There she goes. Oh, now she's spinning. There we go. So what do you guys think? Is skating the only thing that we can do? What else could we do on there? It doesn't have to be skaters. If you do want more skaters, you can do hockey players, a whole team of them, right? And these are about, let me see, about as tall as my finger. This one's a little bit taller than that one. Maybe that's her little sister there. They're skating together. Looks fun, doesn't it? Yeah, it is fun. Grab a magnet from, if, from your mom's fridge. Just ask her beforehand. So maybe she has a favorite one she doesn't want you to use from like a vacation or something. And she'd rather you use a different one. And that's fine too, okay? So double check before you start your project. I do want to see. I know, it looks really fun, huh? Yeah, and you can make as many as you'd like and have them skating all around. You guys can all be on the same rink with your brothers and sisters, all moving the magnets together if you have a few magnets. Yeah. So that's just an idea. You want to come test it, Alexa? Yeah. All right, come here. Are you feeling a little bit better now? Oh, a little bit. Good. Can I test it? Here you go. Grab the magnet. It moves around. That's that's fun, you guys. Are you gonna try that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what does it say in Spanish? It says "Pueden patinar juntas." We can skate together. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause guess what? The the low one kind of looks like me. You wanna? Can you show it again? Yeah, I'll show it again. What do you think? Does that look like Alexa? <laughs> Maybe a little bit, yeah. Well, she's wearing my favorite color, too. Good. You can try that out. So there's a little project to keep you occupied, right? We don't have to be bored just because we're at home. There's plenty of stuff to do. And don't worry, just because right now we can't do a bunch of stuff doesn't mean we won't be able to later at some point, right? It's not forever. It's not forever. You're right. Not yet. Very good. All right, my friends. Yeah, so you're going to try it? That sounds fun to you? Great. What do you guys think you're going to make? Oh, you can you can make like a um like a soccer field. Ooh, a soccer field. That's a great idea. You could do like a whole little foosball thing. You think you could make like a little ball too? Yeah, but um I don't I don't want I I don't want the ball to be metal cuz then it'll get stuck to the magnet too. And then you can't kick it. Oh, that's smart. That's true. That's a very good scientific observation. We don't want that mo that ball. If you're going to make a ball for your soccer team, make sure it's not magnetic, right? Or it's not going to stick to it. Very good. That's exactly right. Oh, oh, I, I just thought of something else we can do to um to cheer up other, uh, our friends. What did you think of? Well, um... What if we draw a picture of stuff that makes us smile? Ooh, that's a great idea. Do you guys want to do that? You want to go grab a piece of paper and we can all draw a picture of something that's making us smile? I, I have a picture already. Can, can I go get it? Sure, let's go grab your picture. Okay. Which one? It's right there on the wall. It's the one, um, this one. Oh, great picture. Okay. So Alexa wanted to show you. This is um my Lucille Ball picture. Remember we talked about Lucille Ball and I, cause I read her her little book. I just got it, and she's funny and she makes me smile. If you want to smile too, you can watch I Love Lucy. It's really funny. You like it? What do you think? Yeah, because you can still do that even though we're in, stuck at home. Well, let's not think of it as stuck at home. How about we stay safe at home, right? Let's put some positive spins on things so we can feel a little bit better. Yeah, that, that kind of does help. Yeah, it helps when you remember why we're, we're in quarantine and why we're staying apart and away from our friends so that when we get back together, everybody can be there. Yeah, because it is sad to think that there's... Like, a lot of people are getting sick. That's right. I know. So the news is kind of bad, huh? Have you been listening to a lot of the news lately? 
Is that kind of why you're sad a little bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay to learn a little bit about what's going on, but don't stay on it for so long that it makes you so sad, right? Exactly. Oh, good, look, your friends liked your picture. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I used my crayons, but um, how, how come they say her hair is red, but it's orange? Oh, that's just what they call, they call them redheads. But I see you used your orange, your orange crayon on it. Yep. Yeah, it's a, cause it doesn't look red. Like a little mermaid shirt. The so little mermaid hair's red, but hers is like orange. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. So what do you guys think? Should that be the next Alexa's room challenge? Yeah. Yeah? You guys wanna draw pictures of things that make you smile and send them in? That sounds like a fun idea, right? Yeah. And I can draw more pictures of dinosaurs because I love dinosaurs and they make me smile. Yep, they do. You see you're wearing your Dino Club t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I can excuse it, so it's kind of wrinkly. There you go. Listen, I need the Dinosaur Club shirt. Let me show you. I draw it. There you go. And I, I, got, I got a little bit of the paint kind of smeared, but it, it, and I um and I did it with I wrote it on there. I did my best work and I tried really hard and I did my best. Good job, very well done. So let's hear about our buddies. How are you guys doing? Oh look, they think it's a good idea that we should draw pictures of things that we that make us smile. That is going to be a good t a good Alexa's room challenge. And they love your Dino shirt. Oh, thank you. I love it too. What are you guys doing? What what helps you stay um happy and smile? What are some of the things? Well, you know what? What? I'm still kind of sad that I, I don't get to eat a donut. Hmm, that's true. Are you still craving donuts? Well, guess what? I have kind of a surprise for you. You do? Yeah. So one of our friends, her name's Prairie Puppets on Instagram, she heard about your big craving for donuts, and guess what she sent us? Let me go grab it. Let me show you. What is it? What is it? I'll show you just a bit. You gotta be patient. Oh, there. Why is patience always something you have to be? Cause stuff takes time sometimes. Hold on, I'm grabbing it. I'm going as fast as I can. Here we go. <gasps> oh, show my friends! Show my friends! I'm about to. Hold on, come on, come with me. Oh, you guys! Show them! Show them! Show them! Okay, you ready? Hello. Ta-da! This is Donna the Donut. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Donna. I'm a giant donut. But Naughty. What? We can't eat her. No, please don't eat Donna the Donut. There she is. Hello. And we're still getting to know Donna a little bit. Oh, I just met her. I know, you just met her. Congrats. Look, isn't that great, though? I love your sprinkles. Oh, thank you. And I like your frosting. Oh, thank you. And I think you're really pretty. Well, oh, thank you. I think you're very pretty, too. You guys, we made a new friend. You've been under quarantine. We can still make new buddies. Isn't that right? Yeah, thank you so much, Prairie Puppets, for sending us our new friend, our new donut friend. We look forward to playing with her and getting to know her a little bit better. Isn't it great? Yeah, can, can we go play? Yeah, let's go put her down over there so that we can get ready to play with her later. Here you go. There you go, Donna. Oh, thank you. There you go. You can rest there. We'll be done in just a second, and then we'll get to play with you, okay? There we go. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I get to play with Donna and we can make up stories and we can um, do all kinds of stuff. Maybe she wants to be in my movie. Maybe. You want to make 
movie butter? Uh-oh, I think some of our friends got hungry. Oh, well, don't eat Donna. Don't eat my new friend Donna, okay? Don't, uh, she's, uh, she's new here, and we want her to feel welcome, but don't eat her. And don't pull off her sprinkles either. She needs those. Right, Donna? Right. <laughs> okay. All right, my friends. Well, let's hear from you guys. What's up? What's new with you? What have you been up to? What are you making? Have you read any good books lately? I read the Lucille Ball book. Yeah, you told us about that. Any other books? Yeah, I um, I read the book with no pictures. The book with no pictures. Yeah. What else? Um, I I found that one of the old um Where's Waldo books. Ooh, Where's Waldo? Yes. Have you guys ever done a Where's Waldo book? Oh, can I show them? Um, hold on just a second. Let's see, because they might already know about it. Yeah, do you guys know about Where's Waldo? All right, let's go grab one so we can show them just in case. Oh, no, no, don't eat Donna. Don't eat Donna. I know our friends really want to, huh? I kind of want to, too, but we're not going to eat Donna. Poor Donna. Which one do you want to show them? The real, the original one is, I think it's my favorite. Okay, let's show them this one. Have you guys seen Where's Waldo? Well, if you have, you're better than I am because I still can't find him on some of these pages. Here's Where's Waldo book. And in case you haven't heard of Where's Waldo before, he's a guy. He's got, you want to tell him about it? Yeah, he's, he's got a striped shirt and it's red and white. And then you have to look for him in the book and sometimes it's really hard. Right. So let's see, let's hold up a page as an example. Look at that. You have to look through all of that to find Waldo, and sometimes you feel like you found him, but guess what? It's someone else. Yep, sometimes it's someone else. Sometimes it's someone else with a stripy shirt on, huh? Okay, so you guys have been making lunches and recording new videos. Oh, look, we got some more puppet friends making their own puppet videos. Oh, can I watch it? Yeah, we'll see. We'll go on their, on their page and see if we can watch some puppet videos of theirs. Yeah, is, is it in Espanol? Your, your videos or your shows is in Espanol. I, I speak a little bit. <laughs> oh, I hope nobody eats Donna. We're going to have to protect her. Everybody's kind of wanting to eat Donna. I think we all have a donut craving, don't we? Hey, why don't we make a video of us making some donuts later today? Yeah, that will be good. Okay, we can try that. We'll make some donuts. We'll try our best anyway. I don't know if I've, I've never made an actual donut, so we'll see if we can. Do you need um, a donut machine? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to do some research on this. I'm not exactly sure how we'll make it. I know they're deep fried, so we'll need some oil. That's what fry means? Yeah. How do you get the frosting? Mmm. We'll have to look up how to make a frosting for them too, huh? Like a glaze? Yeah, or we can use sugar. Oh, yeah, we can do sugar donuts. We have powdered sugar. Yeah, what's your kind of favorite donut? What do you guys think? Yeah, don't eat Donna. Thank you, I know, right? Please don't eat Donna. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think we're going to have to really protect Donna around here. But don't worry, we'll make some Donna donuts that we can actually eat, and those will be safe. Do we have sprinkles? Mm, I think we have sprinkles in a cupboard. We'll have to look it up. I mean, not look it up. We'll have to go up into the cupboard and pull everything out and check and see if we got some sprinkles that are still good. You like the plain donuts? Plain donuts like um, just the sugar donuts, the glazed donuts, or donuts with nothing on them at all? I don't think I've ever had a donut with nothing on them at all. I like the ones that are like a big long one, like a chocolate bar, and then you cut it and you put whipped cream inside, and then you like eat it. But then it kind of goes all over your face because all the cream and stuff and the chocolate. That's right. That does happen a lot, doesn't it? I love those eclairs, too. I once had an eclair with some bacon on it. Yeah. Isn't that a breakfast food? It is a breakfast food, but we put it on a donut, and it was actually really yummy. Oh, we got a lot of fans of plain donuts. Well, good. Kind of like a Krispy Kreme kind. Yeah. That's great. Oh, you like eclairs too? Fantastic. We'll have to do an eclair, yeah, an eclair dare where we just see how many eclairs we can eat. No, because then you'll get a stomachache. Mm, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, 
What does that one say? Let me see. Oh, no, don't eat Donna. Don't eat Donna. If we make donuts that are shaped like Donna, then we can eat those, but not the real Donna. Yeah, no, no. She's my friend. All right, let's go back to talking about books, shall we? Let's change the subject, because now I'm getting hungry, too. All right, so what other books have you guys been reading? What do you guys think? Have you, remember, have you thought of any? <laughs> oh, I just got a book on Louis Braille. What's that? Um, so do you know how um, blind people can't see, right? Right. That's, that's what it means to be blind. Yeah, that's what it means to be blind. It's you can't see. So how do you think they can read books? Um, uh, with, with their hands, they like, they like touch the pages and they're like this and then they, they can feel the letters. Yeah, so those letters, those little dots that they feel, that's called Braille. Oh, and it was called, why is it called that? Because the guy, because uh, Louis Braille? Yeah, Louis Braille was the one that invented that code of those six little dots so that they can feel it with their fingers and they can read. Um, that was nice of him to do that. So, um, so people could, could read and even though their eyes don't work. Well, you know, his eyes didn't work either. He actually went blind as well when he was a kid. And that's kind of what inspired him because he really liked to read books and he wanted to learn some more stuff. So he invented this system so that he and his friends could all read books and we use it till this day. Isn't that cool? So, you, can I read it too? Yeah, you can read my book. You can go out and borrow my book and read all about Louis Braille. Well, yeah, now you got a lot to do today. That's right. Now you got a lot to do today. So you're going to read your book. Yeah, I'll, I'll read about Louis, Louis Braille. Yeah. And I'll play with Donna. Yeah, you'll get to play with Donna. And I'll make a skating rink. Yes, you can make a skating rink. And then what else? And you, we're making some donuts. Yep. And we're making a video of us making donuts. Yep, so then we've got a lot to do. We're going to have a busy day today. So now, we, how are we feeling now? Much better. Oh, and we also have to draw a picture of things that make us smile so we can share it with our friends and see if it makes them smile too. Good, that sounds fantastic. Ooh, a diary of a wimpy kid, says my friend Gemma. Very good, or is that Oliver? I can't tell who's telling me this, but yes, those are great books. Yeah, I love diary of a wimpy kid. Very good. What else? Uh, um, and I like, um, um, what's the other one called? Um, I forgot. You forgot? We'll come back to you if you think about it. Let's see. Oliver says that he likes the Diary of Wimpy Kid books. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I read those before too. Oh, and Junie B. Jones, like, like Junie. Yeah, that's right. Junie B. Jones books. Yeah, did that remind you of your friend Junie? Yeah. What else? What other books are really good and really fun to do? Hmm. <laughs> Have you read any Roald Dahl books? Yeah, yeah. I um, uh, I read um, um, what's it called? The the giraffe and the Pelly and me. Oh, that's a great one. The giraffe and the Pelly and me. Those are really good ones. Very good. What else? What other book recommendations do we have? Any other ones? Hey, what was that song you were singing? Which one? When I was brushing my teeth, you, you, I heard you singing a song. Oh, the green grass grows. Yeah, you want to sing that? Yeah. All right. Oh, look, Gemma likes those too. What ones? The Roll Doll books, I think. I'm guessing. Ooh, and um, Clara says Pollyanna. Oh, I, I saw the movie. I, I didn't know it was a book. Yeah, I think most movies come from books. Pollyanna. I haven't read the book either, but yeah, I've seen the movie. Oh, my friends have some good ideas, huh? Yeah. Very nice. You want to sing The Green Grass Grows one more time? You want to sing it with me? Okay. Oh, Gemma says she likes the Junie B. Jones books. Oh, yeah. Those are really funny, huh? I like Junie B. Jones. I think she and I would, would get along if she was a real person. <laughs> That's right. Very good. Yeah, those, oh, and Pollyanna is a good book, says Clara, so she recommends it. It's got the Clara seal of approval. Yeah, so the Clara seal of approval, very good. Excellent. Oh, and we also have Madeline books. I already read those. I know, but you can read them again. That's true. Yeah. All right, well, let's sing our song one more time, because, oh, yeah, we still got plenty of time today. You ready? There was a hole. There was a hole. In the middle of the ground. In the middle of the ground, 
the prettiest hole, the prettiest hole that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And the green grass grows, oh, and the green grass grows. Well, you don't have to sing this part. This part, you just let me sing. The green grass grows. You can sing it along. You can sing it by yourself. And the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. There you go. And on that tree, and on that tree, there was a limb. There was a limb. The prettiest limb. The prettiest limb. What, what makes it pretty? That's a weird song. It just did song. That you ever did see. That you ever did see. With the limb on the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. I like that part. Yeah. Which one's a good book? Oh, thank you. Did you like that song? Yeah, you can sing it too. Oh, and then, and then there's like a, a bird in the egg and, and the egg in the nest. Good. And then what else? And the nest on the on 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 the on the branch, yeah. And then the and then the branch on a limb. Yes, the branch on a limb. And the limb on a tree. Yep. And the and the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Very good. I I have to I'm gonna have to work on that one. Why? And that's a lot of words, and I gotta practice it first. Okay, you'll all have to practice that song first. All right, very good, my friends. You also like books by James Patterson. Mmm, I've heard of James Patterson. What, which books has he written? What? Do we have a James Patterson book? I don't think we have a James Patterson book. We'll have to take a look. It sounds familiar, but I can't think of one. Hmm. Very good. We got a, a lot of good readers in our audience. Very nice. Excellent. What else have you guys been up to? Singing helps. Yeah, singing does help, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes you sing because you're happy, but sometimes you have to sing to become happy. It does help a lot. I'm so happy we're in a better mood now. I'm so glad. And it's like I didn't, I, um, I, I'm all better. Yeah. I want to start working on the uh, skating rink idea. But I need to need a soccer field. A soccer field. Well, first we got to find a nice big box to use for your soccer field. Um, and it's got to be kind of thin cardboard too. So oh, maybe like a shoebox lid. Uh, I have to see if I have one. Yeah, we can search in the closet maybe. Right, like a shoebox lid is probably a good idea. We got that kind of thinnish cardboard. And then the paper that we used for our skating rink little people is also kind of cardstock paper. Construction paper is probably better than just regular drawing paper. But if drawing paper is what you got, you can double it up, fold it in half maybe, and then keep it like that. Alexa, I am happy. You are so happy. Oh, thank you. I think that, yeah, you guys help me feel a lot better now. Oh, guess what? Look, my friend says she's reading a book for middle schoolers, so that means she can read really super well. Yeah, she must be a really good reader. You're ahead, of, ahead for your age. That's fantastic. So you must have some really good vocabulary. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Very good to hear. Fantastic. Very good. Well done, Oliver. I'm super impressed. That's awesome. I, 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 well, I can read some chapter books, but not some middle school books, because not yet. No, not yet. You're still working on it, right? I'm going to eat Donna. No! Don't eat my friend Donna! No, 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 we, we haven't even played with her yet. We, we just got her. I don't want to eat her yet. Well, I don't think we're going to eat Donna at all. I hope you don't eat her at all. All right, we're going to keep Donna, and we're going to play with her and have some fun with her. But we'll have to get to know her a little bit and then have some fun. We'll include Donna in some of our games, huh? Good. I, I'm going to have her be in my movie. Oh, you said you were going to put her in your movie. That's right. That's right. Very good. All right, my friends. Well, we're going to get to work on our project here now, so we're going to sing our Bye Bye Buddies song. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but thank you so much for helping me to get better and to not be so sad. And I, I miss you. I can't wait till we can see each other. 
That'll be so much fun. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to sing our Bye Bye Buddies song? All right, let's clap our hands. Bye Bye Buddies, it's time to say so long. But before we go away, see if you can sing along. We'll start off slow. You made my day. Thank you for coming out to play. Let's speed it up, but just a bit. It's time to go. Don't throw a fit. Let's go real fast. Fast as we can. See you next time. Cause that's the end. Bye friends. I miss you. I hope you read some good books and that you can make a fun project. And don't forget, draw a picture of something that makes you smile and send it to and send it to Maddie and she can post it and more people can smile, right? We can make everybody feel better. And it's okay to be sad, right? It's definitely okay to be sad. Don't worry if you are sad. A lot of people are feeling that way, so we can cheer each other up, okay? Yeah, and if you're having a bad day, you can try drawing a picture or singing a song and or working on a project or making some donuts and, and then you eat it. I, I know I don't want to go, but we can work on our project. I can show you a picture when I'm done. Yeah? That'll be good, right? And we can all feel better. Even though we miss people still. Bye, friends! We'll see you next Wednesday. And I'll get up on the right side of my bed on next week, okay? Bye, and stay safe, and wash your hands, and don't get sick. And stay home. Bye, buddies! All right, let's say goodbye. Bye-bye, my friends. We'll see you next week.